My father's name is Alan Maidment, and my fondest moment with him was when I was nine years old. We're from a town called Tamworth in the United Kingdom, and they uh, qualified to go to Wembley, which is where all the major football matches are played. And he organised behind my back a secret trip. So on the morning of the final, and um, he woke up really early, and we had coach tickets, and we had the most amazing day ever. And that was one of my most favourite memories of my father. Uh, hi, so my dad's name is Carol Nash. And um, I suppose a good memories that I have is going to uh, football games with him. So especially me when I was younger, playing a lot of football, going in the car into games, um, and then talking about the games after and stuff, and him giving me advice uh, during the games. Sometimes positive, sometimes negative. But um, yeah, it'd be a really good memory that I have uh, with my dad. Hello everybody, um, my dad's name is L Green, also known as King Green, <laughs> a favourite memory of my dad, when I was your age, my dad used to give me pocket money, £6.50 a week, he supported the football team Tottenham, also known as Spurs, now in order to get my pocket money, I had to tell my dad, my uncles, my teachers, my friends at school, everybody, that I supported Spurs. I could not say another team, I would not get my pocket money. And the biggest joke is, I didn't even watch football. So my father is, uh, is Paul Christensen, of course. Um, and his probably biggest influence in my life uh, is probably through food, um, as he was the chef in our house. Um, and he used to cook all the food and he had this fantastic ability to go into the fridge and look and scan the fridge and make some incredible Mediterranean dishes uh, out of there, which always blew my mind because every time I look in the fridge, I just eat chocolate and I eat it. My dad's name is Del Ishida and he is living in Canada now. One of my favorite memories as a Canadian growing up there in Toronto is he would come to our practices and, and help coach our hockey team. Every morning he would wake up early six, seven o'clock in the morning, and we would get into the, the cold car and he would drive us to the practice and help coach um, all of my friends growing up. So we played hockey together, uh, father and son, for almost 10 years before I moved on to university. And those were some of the best memories of my life. So I love him for that, for being there for us and for coaching us and being an awesome dad. Uh, my dad's name is Hugh Bishop, and how does my dad make me feel special? Well, my dad worked away from home quite a lot, and it's not until you become a dad yourself that you realise how your parents uh, give up a lot for you, um, and they do everything they can to give you everything possible in life. Uh, one of the things that my dad did, uh, he worked in Wembley, which is in London, whilst we lived in Wales, and he travelled um, every, every day, um, often staying in, in Wembley to do his job and maybe only coming home at weekends. And then at weekends, he was a referee, a football referee. So it used to make me feel special too. If I ever got to watch my dad, he would go to places like Old Trafford where Manchester United play, and Anfield where Liverpool play, and Highbury where Arsenal play, and he would be the referee. So it was very special as well to watch my dad referee these famous football players and then be on telly in the evening. So my dad makes me feel special because he gave up a lot for us um, when I was younger to allow me to be what I am today and to do what I'm doing today. So thanks, Dad. Hi, uh, my dad's name is Slavko. He is now uh, almost uh, 70 years old, but his spirit is uh, <laughs> very, very young. Uh, he likes to speak with me when we actually because we don't see each other that often last 10 years. But when we see each other, he likes to speak uh, with me about uh, my childhood and compare uh, my childhood with his uh, gra grandchildren' childhood. Um, uh, when we are all there, his favorite thing to do is to make barbecue for everybody. I like to do it as well, but I'm not uh, the master as he is. <laughs>